Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Now, in this video, I am going to show you how to sort of like show text within your pivot tables value field, like what you are seeing on the screen right now. So typically a pivot table will put numbers in the values field and it doesn't really allow text within the values area. But as you could see here in what I did, I managed to show text within the values or the pivot table to say that if the person is, uh, let's say here, less than 30,000, then there will be a bonus. But if the person like has uh, too high for the amount, then I will put the word no bonus. So we're going to do this. Okay, so I have this uh, raw data here. And we start off by, of course, creating our pivot table. So we click on any cell within the range of cells. And then we go to insert and we click pivot table so you will have the pop-up the create pivot table pop-up which we will then click ok so now we have our typical pivot table and now we're going to bring in amount under the uh, values area and then we're going to bring in the salesperson under the rows area as well so I have my first numbers here. And just to remind you, you cannot put text inside the values fields. For example, I'm going to put text data like package. Package is a data that a column that contains text. And if I drag that in my values area, your pivot table will simply count the number of text that corresponds to this uh, item. And there's no way to actually show like words in it. You can sum, you can count, you can average, but not show as text. So what we do is we have to create a calculated field. So for that, we click on any cell within the pivot table in order to show the Analyze tab. And then under the Analyze tab, you need to search for the button Fields, Items, and Sets. In my screen right now, I'm, you're seeing it under the calculations area. But if, I, if you have a larger screen, then that should show up right here. So it really depends on how wide your screen is. Okay, if that will show up either as under a button or a button on its own. So once you see it, look for calculated field. It's always the first option under fields, items, and sets. In the pop-up, we will first provide a title for this new field. So let's say I'm going to put bonus. And then in the formula, I would say equals zero. But I have to remove the equal sign. Keep, or I have to remove the zero and then keep the equal sign. Then I have here if, open parentheses, if the amount, and please don't be tempted to write or type the name of the column it's always best to use these fields regardless of how short the name of the field is in my experience there's this sort of like a bug wherein even if you typed it correctly it doesn't really show up or it doesn't get um, understood or picked up by excel correctly so it's always best to get the field from here and then just click the insert field over here so if the amount is less than thirty thousand then I would put the word yes. If not, I will put the word no. So because they are text, I have to put quotes. Okay. And then click OK. And you will get an error. And this is another testimony that pivot tables do not accept text within its value field. So I'm getting a hashtag value, which means that the value that uh, if the cell is expecting is not the correct of that correct data type. So you get hashtag value when, for example, the cell or the argument is expecting a number, but you're giving it a text, or vice versa. It's expecting a text, but you're giving it a number. So the formula that uh, I created has to be updated then. I just want to show you what will happen if you try to put text inside a pivot table by force it will still be rejected so what we're going to do is we're going to update the formula that i just created so 
So I'm going back to analyze fields item sets and then go back to calculated field. I could create a new one from here, but I could recycle or just fix the field that I just created. So to fix that, I would have to drop down here and look for the column that I did or the field. So the one, the bonus with a question mark. So I now have the liberty to change this column into uh, to show numbers and not text. And since I cannot put the words yes and no, I'll just put the number one if the value is true, if the answer is true, and negative one if the answer is no. So that way, I'm giving numbers to the pivot table and not violating that rule. And I can distinguish between what is true and what is false. So one is true, negative one is false. And then click OK. So now my fields are uh, showing up with numbers. So the one with brackets, with parentheses, are the negative ones, meaning they're the ones that uh, will not receive a bonus. And those with one here will receive the bonus. So what we're going to do then is we're going to change the way that that column shows or shows us the numbers. Okay, and that is by means of formatting. So we have to right click on any cell under that field and then choose a number format. So this will bring up the format cells dialog box. We're in, instead of going to all of these other options, you have to jump to the custom category. So the custom category allows us to create new types of format by means of typing format code. So what you see here are called format codes. And later I'll explain what these format codes mean. But for now, I'll stick with the general option. And you will notice that the field right above it is actually editable. I can remove that uh, entry in the type field and I will type the format code and here's how you're going to do it. So I'm going to put first yes inside quotation marks. So I'm saying that this is the first format and that is if it's positive. And then semicolon, the second possibility is that if the number is negative. So if the number is negative, instead of showing that number, I would put no. So the first two parts of the format code is what if the answer or the, the cell is showing a positive number? How will the cell display this? So instead of showing the actual number, it will show the word yes. That's the format that we want. Take note, it doesn't change the value. You're just changing the way that the cell displays the number. The second part is how the cell will display negative numbers and so in this case i would have to use the word no now i have to complete the format code so i'll put two semicolons because i also have to like identify what will show up okay if the answer is zero so the third segment of the format code is reserved for how will the cell display if the answer is zero so for that, we're not really going to show anything. So I will just close it right away with a semicolon. Take note that after this final or third semicolon that we have, that segment is reserved for how will the cell show the value if the answer is a blank. So it actually has four parts, positive, negative, zero, which we don't have any value or entry, and blank which we also do not have any entry so click ok and as you can see instead of showing the number one or negative one we're getting the corresponding format that we declared in the format code so again the format code is positive negative semicolon and then negative and then what if it is uh, zero? Then finally, what if it's blank? So we just formatted that column such that it will show yes if the number is uh, positive, 
it will show no if the answer is negative. It will not show anything if the answer is zero. And same, not, do not show anything if the answer is blank. So that is the explanation behind the format code. And there you have it. We now sort of like tricked okay, the viewer that it's showing up as text. But the value, if you notice in the formula bar, is still showing us what the actual value of that cell is. And that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something and I hope I answered your question if this is the question that led you to this video. For now, I hope you hit like if you like the video and subscribe to the page as well. It helps us uh, generate more videos for you. That's it. See you in the next one.